Jones today. I'm going to be going over what is the best budget swim bait for under $15. So, you know, there's so many different kinds of swim baits. There's hard swim baits, um, jointed, non-jointed, soft swim baits, big swim baits, small swim baits, um, single hook, double hook, treble hook. So many kinds, line through, solid. There's just so many that it just I'm gonna make a video on which ones are best for the price and which ones you should get for just getting the swim bait fishing. So let's get into it. Okay, so I'm gonna break this down into two categories: hard baits and soft baits. So we're gonna start off with soft baits. So there are so many different kinds, like this one right here, line through bluegill. This one right here, lunker hunk gambit. Um, right here, live target herring. Live target suckerfish, um, dick sporting goods, jawbone, bluegill, um, live target um, rainbow trout, um, mega bass, um, dark sleeper, um, another live target suckerfish. So um, I think the most expensive one in here is probably going to be this guy right here or this guy right here. So I got this one, I think, for about... Twelve dollars. I think I get this one for about twelve dollars as well. So, those are probably be the most expensive in here. So, so my opinion, um, this is just such a big bait, and it's I've I've never personally I've had a few followers. I've never caught a fish on this. Um, and this one I have caught a ton of fish on. So, this one I've caught the most fish on out of any of the baits here. Probably second to that would be this um, Lunker Hunt Gambit. And then in a close third, Mega Bass Dark Sleeper. This one's pretty new, so I haven't caught too many fish on that one. Um, probably the, the worst one, we can get rid of this one right now. Dig Sporting gets job on. Terrible hooks. It's never even been in salt water. It's rusted. Like, it's terrible action. Like, for that one on the side. <laughs> this one smaller version of the sucker never actually thrown this one and then this giant trout right here this is such a good bait for the price like um, i think the dick sporting gets sells for like five dollars and it's it's actually um comparable to like a huddleston of a huddleston over there and um it doesn't have as good of an action but size wise definitely comparable coloring you know not as good but for five dollars you're definitely getting a good bait here um and this one right here never also had any luck on this but i don't know just i prefer if i'm going to use a live target for anything i'm probably going to end up using the sucker fish not this one so out of this you can probably get rid of these two now and so now we're down to these so i think this one will make a bass i think is around nine dollars so pretty expensive for what you're getting. It's a small goby um, presentation. Perfect for like smallmouth, stuff like that. But there's not too many smallmouth around here. So I don't use it that often. So I'm probably also not going to see that's in the top three. So now we're on to the top three. Suckerfish, trout, gambit. So um, this one right here, it's, it's probably the best you're going to get for the price. Um, $5, I'm getting in if you're getting a great bait, if you're getting into swim bait fishing, I don't think you can go wrong with this. But on the other hand, this is a little more expensive, but you're going to catch more fish on it. It's a smaller bait, as you can see. This bait's been destroyed. Hold on. As you can see, you know, this bait's been destroyed, you know, teeth marks all over the top of it, missing a eye. Also, like I said, missing an eye, teeth marks all over it. Teeth marks all over it, um, destroyed, you know, super long coloration, I mean, this is what, this is what it's like supposed to look like, this is what it looks like, you know, and then this one as well, you know, you can see teeth marks on it too, um, one thing I don't really like about this is that, you know, this, 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 this flat tail does not move the water like these two do, so probably the best soft bait you can get for your money, this one right here, five dollars, much as a pack, less than a pack of Senkos. So, you're getting a swim bait. One of the most expensive ways to fish for bass, for less than the price of a Senko, a bag of Senkos. So, probably gonna would probably like to start off with this one. But the one downside to this is is how heavy it is. Um, 
So, you know, if you're throwing, if you're, if you're even considering probably throwing this on like spinning, I wouldn't say, even throw this on a spinning reel, but um, if you're throwing this, like, say you have a medium, maybe a medium heavy could handle this if you have one you don't care about, but probably a heavy at least, versus this one you could definitely throw on a medium heavy. So we're going to move on. Next category, hard baits, and we'll get to that. Okay, guys, so um, next category, hard baits. All my hard baits are going to be jointed. Um, so, the most expensive one here. I think this one you can get to be the most expensive. I got this for about 10 I think most places retail it for about 18 which is it's an I'm a lure. It's an I'm a fluke. Um, and then, probably other than that, this is the most expensive. It's a um, Ketchco, Mike Buka, maybe Bullgill. Um, great bait, great action. You know, same people that make the um, baby bull shad. You know, this one's a little heavier. Move on bluegill pattern. Better, for, I think better for more pond fishing versus, you know, around here especially. Because there isn't much shad around here. Versus you're going to throw a lot of those bluegills. Um, then we also got Throwback Lures. Um, what's this called? Throwback Lures Trailblazer, I believe. Just another... This one's got, I think, the most joints. Yeah, the most joints out of any of them. Just a ton of joints. It's actually got fabric in there. All these double trebles. Um, and then, last one, Dynamic Lures. I think it is like a... I think it's called, like, the Trout something. Uh, this is a more of a, um... It's like, um, Shiner color. You see, hard plastic tail. All these are gonna have straight tails. Um, except for this. This is more of a glide bait. Still gonna count it in here because of the price um but all these are gonna have hard tails these two have hard and these two have the um gill and the bullshad have both have soft tails so um fish catching probably caught the most fish this one right here first swim bed actually i think i've ever had this one right here i think i got this two years ago uh and probably the newest one I've acquired probably either this one right here, this one right here. I don't know which one it is. Um, this one, haven't caught too many fish on. It's kind of just, uh, I don't know, kind of a cool lure. Just uh, kind of a classic, in my opinion. And then there's this one, also not too many fish. There's a ton of hype about these two. I don't really know if the hype's worth it. They're, I mean, they're paint jobs, all right. They're all plastic, like hooks all right um i mean i've caught fish on as you can see you know the head's all messed up but um this one caught fish on it as well um probably the best i think this one retails i think um the cheapest one here i think i got this throwback lures for about um five dollars i think this one was about like seven dollars so I'm probably going to go with this one, Dynamic Lures, Trout. Um, this and the uh, Live Target Swim Bait and the Live Target Sucker will be linked below. Because those are uh, my two soft baits. This is probably my single most favorite um, hard bait. So I'm going to link this one below. And hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll learn something from this video. And if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.